everyone, Mei Ling here from the Clinton Macomb Public Library. Are you considering preschool from home this year? Here are some fun and educational songs that you can sing along to or learn so that you can use them at home. I'll give you a brief explanation of why I chose each one. Enjoy! The first one we're going to start off with is a hello or good morning song. You can sing along if you like. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? Or you could sing, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning, dear Johnny. Good morning to you. Or you can use your child's name, of course. Next, I'm gonna sing a Days of the Week song and then I will sing another Days of the Week song. These will help you teach your preschooler or little one the Days of the Week. Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week, Days of the Week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, Days of the Week, Days of the Week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. And the next one, you don't have to clap along to, you can just sing. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And you can use your fingers in whichever order you want. As you can see, I did two different ways. The next song I'm going to sing is a weather song. And you can use any of the words that I'm going to sing spelling out as you would like. What will the weather, 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 what will the weather be today? Is it sunny, 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 S-U-N-N-Y today? Is it rainy, 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 R-A-I-N-Y today? Is it snowy, 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 S-N-O-W-Y today? Is it cloudy, 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 C-L-O-U-D-Y today? And of course, you can always sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! And you can also say what you're doing with the motions as well. You can say clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. And that will also cue your young one as to what you're going to do next. Here's a song that I used to sing with my children when they were preschoolers. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit me so. Which finger did he bite? the little one on the right. And that song will help your children learn how to count to 10. Another weather related song is Rain, Rain, Go Away. And you can use your child's name in the song. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play 
Rain, rain, go away. And you can sing that twice. I usually sing songs twice because then it helps the child to learn. And repetition is a great way to teach young children. Another fun song to sing is, I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to oat, oat, oat opals and bonobos. I like to oat, oat, oat opals and bonobos. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like to oot, oot, oot. Apples and bananas. I like to oot, oot, oot. Apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I like to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. And if you didn't guess, that song teaches your children about the vowels. Here's another fun song. Moon, 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 I'm going to the moon. Moon, 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 I'm going to the moon. Let me take you on a trip in my little rocket ship. Moon, 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 I'm going to the moon. Sun, 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 I'm going to the sun. Sun, 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 I'm going to the sun. Let me take you on a trip in my little rocket ship. Sun, 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 I'm going to the sun. Sky, 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 I'm going to the sky. Sky, 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 I'm going to the sky. Let me take you on a trip in my little rocket ship. Sky, 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 I'm going to the sky. Star, star, stars, I'm going to the stars. Star, star, stars, I'm going to the stars. Let me take you on a trip in my little rocket ship. Star, star, stars, I'm going to the stars. Here's a fun song that all kids like. And you count down from five while you're doing it. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Oh, one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Oh, one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. Oh, one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glug, glug. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glug, glug. By this time, your children might be getting a little bit antsy, so you probably have time for one or two songs or activities. So you can always add some movement into songs like I just did, or like this one. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, Hiding behind the tree, these little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. 
And then I'll give you one last song, which is a transition song, and you can do it anytime you're about to move to a different activity. And it goes like this. Oh, do you know what time it is? What time it is? What time it is? Oh, do you know what time it is? It's time to say goodbye. Or if you want to move on to a different activity, such as playing, you can sing, oh, do you know what time it is? What time it is? What time it is? Oh, do you know what time it is? It's time to play with toys. Well, thank you for listening. I hope that you enjoyed these songs and that you will be able to sing them with your children. Hello, my name is Mei Lang and I work here at the Clinton Macomb Public Library. Are you looking for something fun to do with your preschooler at home? Look no further. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own bathtub chalk paint. The things that we'll need today are an ice cube tray. I have one right here. You'll need a tablespoon, a third cup measure, a bowl. I'm going to use this jar today some clear dishwashing liquid. I have palm olive, but you could use whatever clear dishwashing liquid you like. Some cornstarch and some food coloring. And it is important to remember to use regular food coloring and not gel. So let's get started. I'm going to take my jar, or you can take your bowl here and we're going to measure one third cup of this clear dishwashing liquid. And not only is this clear dishwashing liquid suitable for sensitive skin, but this one I have here is scented with lavender and eucalyptus. So that would be very nice and soothing in the bathtub. All right, next I'm going to take my tablespoon measure. I'm gonna put that right in with the dishwashing liquid. And we are going to give this a stir. double or triple this recipe as well. But today I'm just gonna make a single recipe. So now we are going to fill each ice cube tray bowl by about half. And the one I have is green and white inside. So I'm just gonna fill the green part and that will be about half full for me. And I think I'm gonna be able to get just about eight of these today. All right. So I have eight here. And now we're gonna add about four to eight drops of food coloring to each one. And I'm gonna use these toothpicks here to stir. So I'm gonna put four drops in here of red and four drops in here of red. 
and four drops here of blue. I'm gonna do green. I'm gonna do yellow. And let's see. This one is red. And this one is a very dark blue. Almost an indigo. And if you have more colors, of course you can always play around and see what your color combinations are going to create. So for this one, I had hoped to make purple, but it's very dark because I didn't use a whole lot in here. Now this one here did turn out to be purple. So it does depend on how much uh, dye to paint ratio that you use. This one is like a bright orange. So I'm going to try to make this one a yellow by adding just a tiny drop. And maybe that will be a lighter color. And this is fun to do with your preschooler or young child because you can experiment with them and they can learn about colors. You can talk about colors. You can talk about color combinations. You can really turn anything into an educational experience for your young child because they're still learning all about the world around them. And I'm gonna take this green here and I'm just going to dip that into this white one to make a very light green color. And I'm going to try the same thing with my very bright red. I'm going to put just a little bit of this into my last white one and see if I can make the color pink. And it did. It turned a nice soft pink color. Okay, now that our bath paints are done, you can get any brush, your kids can use their fingers, and you can put them in the tub for some bath time fun. And please remember to use regular water-based food coloring and not the gel kind because that can stain your tile, your tub, and possibly your grout. So have fun and thanks for watching.